What is up guys, Photo Fever here, and welcome back to this Christmas episode of Two Minute Tutorials. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can change the weather of any photo to make it look Christmassy and snowy using the brand new neural filters in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo that you'd like to either add a season change to it or you want to change the weather. So today we're going to create a wintry theme to represent Christmas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and load this sample photo here into Photoshop and make sure your Photoshop is up to date to do this. So it needs to be Photoshop 2022 or newer. So what you want to do firstly is we want to just duplicate the background layout so I can show you the before and after, but also just in case the Photoshop makes any mistakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. Then what we want to do is go up to our filters. So I'm gonna go up to filter and I'm gonna drop down to neural filters. Now this is brand new to Photoshop 2021, but the particular tool we're using today is the landscape mixer tool, which allows you to change the seasons, but also the weather. So we're gonna to go to our selection here. Now this is in the beta stage, so it's still not 100%. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this filter on. Now you can either choose from a selection of presets or you've actually got a range here of sunset, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag the winter slider. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag it to around about 70%. I find that works most, that works most of the time. Anything, too, it sometimes can be too much. And all you need to do is just let, let Photoshop process this image to allow it to add in that particular season that you have selected. And also, you can also do preserve subject if you're, for instance, got a person or maybe a portrait. And then you can also harmonize that subject to make it look like the photo that you've actually changed it to. And as you can see, it, I must say, it has worked really, really well. Now to come out of this and go back into Photoshop, all you need to do is go ahead and click the OK button found on the right hand side. What it'll do is it will take you back into Photoshop. And as you can see, it has done a really, really good job. I've got to admit, it's not 100% perfect, but I must say for a beta testing software, it's actually done a really good job. It looks quite realistic. So if I show you the before, which is obviously a summary theme, no snow in it whatsoever. And then if I show you the after, this is a very interesting tool. And I'm very interested to see how well it works once it's out of the beta stage. So here is the before and here is the after. What a difference and how much Christmassy does this look? 